The Guam Veterans Benefit Office in Tizen is closed. Despite this shutdown, the Guam Veterans Affairs Office in PD remains open. Director John Mpingo. Our doors are open for anyone who has any questions as to their claims. But as to the, the claims being processed back there in Hawaii, I mean, uh, the power of attorney has already been given to the federal side. So therefore, uh, the, the questions normally that you give to Hawaii would normally be handled by the federal. I should mention that the people who are in charge of adjudicating their claims are also closed in Hawaii. So um, it's, a, it's really like a domino effect and where we're getting constricted more and more in how much we can help. This means if you already filed a claim with the office in Tizen, it is on hold. The PD office, however, can provide limited assistance in making inquiries and beginning the process of filing new claims. But whether it gets adjudicated and veterans see that first compensation check in the mail is a much different story. As for veterans receiving payments in compensation, pension, education, and vocational rehabilitation programs. The claims processing will, the money allocated for it, will carry us through to the end of this month. And then after that, they'll have to be suspended. Now, I use the word suspended because it doesn't mean it goes away. Once the budget gets reenacted, hopefully there will be provision to pay back what has been, what is owed. Meanwhile, the lapse in appropriations will not affect VA home loan processing, insurance processing, the Veterans Crisis Line, Veterans Cemetery Services, and all medical facilities and clinics, which will remain fully operational. The VA will continue to update its plan in the event of a prolonged shutdown. For more information, visit www.va.gov. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.